I'm not where I'm supposed to be But there's so much noise around So much noise around Constantly fighting for space I wanna be empty Be empty Be empty Hi Capricorn, welcome to my channel, we're doing your reading. What's going on guys? Um, we're gonna be doing this deck, it's in the description, it's a gilded, okay? And then you got here the Rider weight and Cartomancy, okay? So that's that one. And where there's a handle going on here, that's for my Instagram, sorry to start. Okay, and that one is about um, if you like tarot, I post there regularly, um, also deck, so check it out. And I do pick random if you need a guidance. If you comment on Instagram, I also do random reads. Okay, so here we go. Let's see what's going on. Mm, based on Vedic Sidereal Astrology Capricorn, okay, not Western. And then let's begin over here. You already know your Sun, Moon, Ascendant placement, okay, and how to watch it. Okay. Let's see. And Venus and Jupiter. So it's going on for my Capricorn. Here we go for my Capricorn. Okay. Six. Everybody's just hitting it to the core today. Mm hmm. With regards to love and relationship. Yeah. Look at that one. Cancerian got an amazing reading. So that's your seventh house. So watch Cancerian. Amazing. Watch Libra. Watch Gemini. Watch uh, Sagittarius. Watch everything. It's all amazing today. Six of Cups. Yeah. The familiarity card. This is my Dara Karka card, meaning it would show whatever planet later on, if it comes out, the lowest degree on who your spouse is. Six of Cups. Of course, younger, older, the soulmate card. It's only soulmate because of the Darakarka. That's how we would see it. Okay. An unfinished business from the past. Okay. Past life. Venus, Venus Darakarka. Let me explain how this is. The person is going to be very chill. Mm -hmm. um, Venus is uh, water and air. Okay, apas. Um, so they're going to be um, diplomatic. They, this is like when you're panicking, when you're emotional. You tell this person, it's just like da 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 da. Literally, you feel like they they have no emotion, and you would feel like you know, like some sort of earth sign. No, it's not. It's how Venus is in its when it's in the dark arca. Okay. Um, this is a person who would want a, you know, like they always want a relationship, but they might not express it clearly. Yes, because since it's a Darakarka, they were not good at it before. So it's a challenge. Yes. Venus right now it was in Taurus, moved to Gemini. Okay, so it can be a Taurus or a Libra. Um, this is a person who owns a business also, Empress card. But normally this is like someone who just, you know, like their business is already thriving. Uh -huh. That's that one. That's good. Emperor, oh wow, Cancerian got this, guys. <laughs> and this is an empress, is this? Now you got an emperor. Aha, uh -huh. okay, all right. Someone stepping up for today, more amazing than the Cancerian, okay. So, yes, this is that one, all okay? right. You have Mars energy, you have Venus. These are Caracas for relationship and partnership. Yes, it is. There's the feminine masculine energy that you're looking for. If we get the Wheel of Fortune, oh, we're gonna spin this. Mm hmm. This is, yes, the one. Okay, can be reconciling right now. Someone is ready. Emperor, of course, shows. They can be distant, they can be cold. This one is the receiver, this is the giver of energy. Equal. If on your match, let's just keep it that way. Emperor shows someone who. 
see, self-made with the emperor. Empress normally, they are just like, uh, it's because Venus is uh, benefic, right? They just get good things in life. Easy. Okay. Eight of Wands, more communication, long distance relationship. You met online, Cupid's arrow. But this is spiritual growth. This is someone who tells you, this is someone who, you will know if this is you. Because if you guys are talking a lot, this is you. If you guys are like, well, he only messaged me once, once a year. This is not the Eight of Wands. Okay? You would got nothing if it's a message once a year. It's not even a qualifier for a read. This is a qualifier right here. Because they do take time. They do entertain. They do message you. Hmm. Seven of spades trying to come out. That's understanding. Cupid's arrow. What else is? Ace of heart. Someone here wants to really compete with the concern. Or the, well, all the amazing reads today. Eight of wands with the ace of hearts. Loving messages, emojis, cute faces, selfies, endearing, you know. You know, this is a person who's already expressing their love towards you. It's right here. I just read the cards. Okay. And it's your energy. Not mine. Well, I hope it's mine. <laughs> okay. As long as it's good, it's good, it's mine. No <laughs> kidding. Let's see. Shine like a diamond. Ace of hearts with the ace of diamonds. You guys are going to be talking about a secure relationship. This is exclusivity. Okay. It's exclusivity. Ace of diamonds is the ability to ground the relationship. To make the person feel secure. Not like a bunkuikui security. Like a secure relationship. The one that you feel like this person is uh, your knight in shining armor. Because uh, they're going to be very much protective with this kind. I like this person for you. If you're not going to take it, I'll take it. Uh huh. Here we go. Let's see. Page of Cups. Message of love. And very endearing, I told you. King of Cups. If the Emperor uses the King of Cups, I feel like one has more feelings than the other, but or both of you are just everyday talking about feelings. King of Cups can have an energy of you know being obsessed to you. Okay, that's that one. Next to the King of Cups. Ooh, spicy! Seven Swords. What is this about? Ooh, another Six of Hearts. So this person, okay, probably left you before. This reconciliation, look, the person has left you. They didn't want this before. They, they didn't. They totally didn't want it before. But no matter where they go, okay. I feel like the Seven of Swords was escapism. So when I say escapism, they went to their 12th house. They traveled. Uh, they could have just, you know, vanished, 12th house also, you know. Um, but no matter what they do, you guys will find your way, find you know each other in the same spot, in the same cycle. Because this is two people who are meant. Consolidation is here. I don't sense the Seven of Swords is cheating. Not at all. No. Nine of Cups. What are they wishing? Lovers, I ask. What are they wishing? I feel like... Why did this person came back? This is what they realize. So you guys are topping the charts over here on how the connection is so deep. Okay. You got two six of cups, lovers. Okay. Inseparable, I feel. Okay. So you guys are inseparable. You already got the lovers and, uh, okay, emperor and empress. Uh -huh. So you guys are definitely the feminine, masculine, the counterpart of each other. So it is the one. I'm not saying like, you know, um, as far as like, you're not going to be complete without them. But it's really the counterpart there. That's I think that's a better word. You guys are counterpart. Mm -hmm. So no. This is someone that's wishing to be with you. Yes. To start all over can be, yes. Because they know they messed up. The Seven of Swords, I feel like they were just really trying to escape something. Like they were just being mischievous and stupid. Okay. 
I don't, I don't sense anything major. What's major is, if we see the Wheel of Fortune, then we will predict time. However, I feel like, yes, this is your counterpart. Yes. Alrighty. Link down in the description box for the extended. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye, guys.